All right, mud lovers, here we are. We're going mudlarking, which means looking for anything old and interesting. I'm out down on the lower part of the Thames estuary. Let's get back in the muck. across this little hole and there's a bottle inside it must have washed in from the sea. Looks like it's probably broken but we'll have a quick look. Yeah, broken but it's a good sign. There's been some blue glass there already. I like the sound of that. It's a good sign. Yeah, let's see what else is here. So I've got loads of lovely sea glass up here and I found a really nice little piece there, look. So I'm gonna pick up a few of these broken pieces. This is Mason's. And also I'm gonna pick out some curved pieces and make a sea glass resin cup. So I'm looking for very specific pieces as well today. Uh, something a bit like this piece where it's got a curve on and hopefully I can make enough pieces to create a curved beaker. Let's see how it goes. It's all about experimenting on this channel, seeing what we can come up with. So that's a good start. And obviously if I get enough pieces, I can make a full cup and I've got the silicon molds ready. So stick around for, for that later on and we'll do a little clean up and also a little bit of upcycling and craftiness. Okay, it's time for a game of spot the find. It's a bit tricky this one because it's camouflaged by the surrounding little sea snail shells. So where do you think it is? There we go, look, have you seen it by now? It's a lovely little clay pipe bowl. That's really cool. Nice, unusual, knobbly design. Victorian. What a lovely knobbly pipe. I'll take that.
our erosion outlet, that's what's helping us find these bottles today. Not so much in this part, but in other parts, it's, uh, the nature's doing a lovely job of helping us find these old bottles again. The old landfill sites. And bovril there, look, sticking out the, the, the bank. So nature is trying its best to help us <laughs> find these bottles but uh, yeah it's great definitely come back here it's very cold today in case you're wondering why I don't wear gloves it's because I do wear one glove but I've got to take the other one off to control the camera and sometimes it's nicer just to pick these out with your fingertips and that is Oh, that's a nice colour. Uh, so it's broken. Would it be a little ink well? I wonder if that's blue or that's just the colour of the mud. Lovely uh, colours there that the mud's giving off. It looks like it's clear glass to me. Still. Well, this is cool. Again, it's broken, but you know, I like these because other people don't want them and I can upcycle them. So. Yeah, it's nice embossing on it, and I reckon that I could make that into a nice pot beaker for pens, pencils, or anything of that matter. So keep an eye on my Etsy store because I do put them for sale up there from time to time. I just love upcycling them, <laughs> giving them a new life. Oh, it's all covered in mud, but I think you might say South End on Sea at the bottom there, which is quite cool. So stick around for the clean up, we'll make these look ship shape and Bristol fashion once more. I just see that from afar and it was a little bit of blue glass and I thought I'll come over and have a quick look but as I was walking towards it and my fingers are really cold I saw that nice little blue bottle oh isn't that lovely it's complete as well oh, that's beautiful well happy with that poison bottle but it hasn't actually got any ridges on so maybe it was for another use a dabbing bottle maybe sometimes they use these to put um, various dyes on clothes to help them clean them so maybe it's one of them I'll put my glass back on now it's freezing <laughs> just above that you may have noticed there was a couple more bottles I'll just show you them quickly that's a nice little essence bottle and this is a sadly broken Ink. Well, here we have a little baity. Not the rarest of creatures, but the embossing on it is really strong. Oh, and I think you'll have the word London on it too. Yeah, I can cut it about there and upcycle it. And this is a lovely dark green colour. So cool. Yep, embossing all the way around London. This looks fantastic when it's cut. And not a lot of cleaning to do on either, which I like. So this is a really nice one. Look at it's got on it, it's London. Let's see, it's all it's got on it, but isn't that sweet? Nice Victorian sheer lip. Love it, good old London, South East. I'll cut down a bit further to the seaweed. And this is a nice R Waits bottle. Okay, it's broken, but that's one we can upcycle. That'll look really cool. Once that's cut down, 
lovely air bubbles in that look you can see that look cool oh, a little skittle bottle broken sadly cool this was freezing what does that say Clayton brothers yeah I'm sure I found one of these before can anyone else remember another cut down jobby woohoo What is that look? Got a bottle top and the base of it there. Let's see if I can wiggle it out. Oh it's broken. <laughs> oh well, can't win them all. So look at this guys, this is potentially amazing. Just sitting there like it's been eroded out. Let's see if it's complete. I haven't got my trail with me, well I have but it's in a bag a little while away. Oh look at that. Oh the little hole in the bottom unfortunately but Nice fruit salt. That's really nice. It'd probably be alright actually. It'd probably just display like that. Nice little bottle. Probably Victorian. After a day's pleasure, i.e. getting drunk, use Eno's fruit salt. Nice piece of driftwood. I'll take that, make it into a little piece of art. Like the hovercraft piece I did. Wow, what about that? I can't believe it's just sitting there. The complete art whites. There's a little screw top piece there, look. That's really cool, that's like lovely green glass, almost mint condition, a tiny chip on the lip, but wow, put, put a little um, Vulcanite stopper in there and then that's, 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 that's job done, yeah, beautiful colour, maybe uh, create a label for that or something, or maybe just use it as a as it is. Wowza. I just need to find a top for it now. So we can find a Vulcanite rubber stopper. There's got to be one around here somewhere I reckon. Now can anybody work out what that is? You see me find a few of these previously. A little dull set isn't it? I'm not sure if we find a complete one today but it's a good sign of uh, the age of it. set this up but look I'll just see an upside down doll's head let's have a look at her oh it's a boy maybe hey <laughs> probably would have been off a larger doll but he's a lovely little chap isn't he I think it's a little boy hey <laughs> nice those blue eyes aren't they lovely Don't know. Oh, 
that's another keeper. Anything with the word London on, I love. Now I'm going to fill my hands now for the next five minutes. I don't know if I've done that. Well, you see that there? If that's what I think it is, it could be a little ice cream cup. A Victorian ice cream cup. Oh, it is. But it's broken, sadly. That would be really, really sweet. I actually got a complete one of these at home. So this would have been handed out, a bit like a penny lick, but a stoneware version. The ice cream would have been uh, licked and then handed back. Or not in this case. I've just seen this little uh, cup here, nothing special, but it's got ABC written on it, which was an old chain of cafes. And it's quite a nice little bit of history there. Here's a piece of pottery. I think it might be uh, Air Force. Triple A FI. I can't remember what this is. It might just be a cat. It might be something else. I'll have to look into that. My memory is gone on this particular piece. I've found one before. It could be Army, Navy Army Air Force. There we go. I remembered. Navy Army Air Force FI. I'm not sure what those two are. Well, got a little Vulcanite stopper here that can go in there. Obviously that's broken, that's no good, so let's take that out. Not the right company, but it doesn't matter. Oh. Beautiful, complete Victorian bottle. Happy with that. Well, I thought I was lucky enough with the first blue bottle, but look, by the way, that's, that's a broken canvas there, but look, another blue one. How lovely is that? This is quite an interesting little feature. Look, it's got a load of old stakes holding up these boulders it looks like it might have been part of a uh, some sort of revetment don't know but um i will say this if you are interested in the more archaeological side of history then go and check out the time team channel it was a program aired in the uk in the sort of late 90s early 2000s and there's some great content there so if you fancy getting stuck into the uh, history and seeing them dig trenches and find pottery and uh answering some of the questions that were about at the time, then go and check that out, it's really cool. And I've just found, as I'm using around, look at those, this is a nice little bottle here, sitting right by it. Unfortunately it's plain, that's, that's a nice surgical bottle, that's probably a Victorian, you can see there the sheared lip, that's been broken off, but that's, that's a fine little specimen of a sauce bottle. I think I will take that, that's really nice, because it doesn't take require any cleaning. Uh, sometimes these are absolutely sick and covered in flaky glass and they're just a nightmare but that is ready to be displayed and it's just got a lovely aqua colour so that'll come with me and I think looking up there look there's loads more to search and I've just found a new section of the beach to look in Sometimes when you pick up a bit of uh, sea glass, come across other cool things. And that's a nice little uh, bone or stone, or maybe even a hard plastic little bun. Nice. Well guys, I was just walking out and I noticed there's some writing on this old bag and I just had to hold it down because it's a bit windy. But look, it's got on there. Post office. 
M, some other letters there, and then the date 1979. How cool is that? I wonder if I can use this, put it in a frame. I've got some wood that I've uh, found on a beach somewhere else. And I think this might be really cool in a frame. I don't know why, it's just it's a bit random, I know, but um, I'll uh, see if I can, what these holes are for, but that's cool. I might take that and then upcycle it into a mental little frame. It's just a nice little thing. I really like that. It's something you can just see the, the value, as it were. In, um, in anything, it's almost faded to nothing, but you've got the word post there, quite vibrant, so, how cool is that? Yeah, nice little idea, can't wait to go over and upcycle that. <laughs> Crazy, but cool, cool as mud. Right, my lovers, I think I'll call it a day there. There's some amazing things, loads to clean up. So let's go home and clean up a few things, do a bit of upcycling, and have a proper look at what we found. So here's all the lovely sea glass that I picked up and I'm going to make a beaker using sea glass and resin. These are my silica moulds and you can see what I have to do is place carefully selected pieces 
of sea glass that have got the right amount of curvature and thickness to then slide down into this using all sorts of colours and patterns and textures. Once that's all full up, I'll then pour resin in up to the top there and maybe put some on the base as well to create a sea glass resin beaker. I've got one mould there. I've got another mould here, which is a slightly different shape. And I can fit thicker glass in this one. And it's got a slightly deeper base. So there we go. All that's left for me to do is select the right pieces of glass, arrange it in a way that I like, pour the resin in, let it set. Let's see how it turns out. I've filled all that up. Now you can just about see through there. Obviously the blue glass is going to really pop and so is the green and the brown as well. So what we need to do now is fill out with resin. Let it set. Let's see how it looks. Cheers. There might be a few air bubbles in this. It's hard to get them all out on these types of design, but I don't mind that. The air bubbles are cool because they look like old glass and also bubbles in the sea. So bubbles are cool. So let's see what happens when it dries out. Okay, they've gone nice and hard. So now let's try and take them out. Oh. Hey, look at that, that's awesome. Really nice finish as well. Let's take the next one out.
Sara. Nice. Mm, that's one. I can see some of the um, letters on this one as well. I made made it so that the blue was all around the top on that one, and green around the top on that one. Cool little pair of glasses. Now we'll have to do that. All right, mud lovers, thanks for watching and see you in the next mud adventure. Bottoms up. Oh, and Nelly's here, as you can hear. You wanna say hello, Nelly? This is the cat drink beer. Was it raining? It's raining, come on. Let's go inside.